Hello, everybody, Fix It here. Welcome back to To the Moon. I got uh, Kitten Mins with me. Hi. And the kids are leading us down into the basement because there's something weird down here. This is a basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. I'm an adult. I know what the hell I'm doing. Jesus. Mm. We used to find all kind of cool junks down here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese. You name it. That's why we brought good cheese. There's this moldy. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down the stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. <laughs> he's not a very nice kid. <laughs> What's over here? Ken is filled with unused fine china. Don't break it. Box is filled with colored papers. Chest is locked. Well, can I use the key on it? It's still locked. Open the little the little trunk. It's locked. We're locked. We're so concerned with security around here. Door is locked. Open the door with a room key. <gasps> da -da -da -da. It's like a cave in here. <laughs> bunnies! It's like a murder scene. Oh, are they <laughs> dead or alive bunnies? I can't tell. Broken music box. A stuffed toy platypus! What a hideous little creature. Poke it. Oh, it's <laughs> flat. You broke it. Poke it again! I got a platypus. You just won the game. Plush toy of duck billed platypus. A rabbit folded out of paper. Another rabbit folded out of paper. Another rabbit folded out of paper. Oh, I can't walk anywhere. Another rabbit folded out of paper. Lots of rabbits. Count them. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing! The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. There were. There were. I don't know how to say that. There were. It's not a real word. There's The, the translation um, isn't spot on in this game, so you're going to see some weird English every now and again. Anyways, there were. There! More of them, actually. There. Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath the cliff. Want to go see? I got the keys. Why did she have the keys for that, but not for this? Let me guess. Right. You aren't supposed to go in there either. <laughs> Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you two. So you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Decision. Let's go see the lighthouse. Oh, to heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Come on, let's go kick some butts. It doesn't matter that there's a man dying upstairs. Let's go sightseeing. Yeah, I want to go to the lighthouse and sightsee. Can outrun the birds. Whoa, you. There it is! We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. Well, everyone would need a parachute, not just him. It's ridiculous they should have supplied me with a parachute. Ah, quit! Oh my go god, stay on the path. There are monsters. I can go this way, can't I? No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is that, is that south? It's not south. North, south. Who cares? I thought I could cheat the game. It's all wrong. Let's 
squiles. You gonna run over those two? No. I evaded. <laughs> it's here! Uh... My novelty beach ball! I thought I lost it. <laughs> oh. It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look! Uh, we don't have time for this. <laughs> okay, done. Right, now let's just head for the lighthouse. You little bricks. Where is it? It's smoking! Who's the dummy that crashed that car? That was Dr. Rosaline. What? Yeah. No? Oh, Dr. Rosaline. Tsk, tsk, tsk. It's a platypus. Oh, a squirrel. It's not a platypus. It's a squirrel. Jeez, can't you tell? Look at the. It has a bill on it. That's 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 not a bill. What is it? It's part of the rocks underneath it. Oh, it's part of the tree. <laughs> I thought it was a bill. Oh yes, yeah, part of the tree, not the. Whoa. Don't worry, kids. I got this. <laughs> All right, let's beat this squirrel's ass. Attack! Other shoe! Other shoe! Loudest! This ends here! Hiya! Stop it, or we'll tell them off! Yeah, I should call the cops on you. Oh, come on, I wasn't actually gonna... Don't you like roleplaying? You should be ashamed of yourself. You self. You self. You self. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night's ruined. Stinking kids. Wow. So disappointed you can't beat down another squirrel. He retreated. He fled like a coward. Well, he heard you ran over his friend. Old beat up lighthouse. I live by a lighthouse. Control. What's that? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. I can see it. Thank you. Mm, I don't know. You didn't walk towards it. I think this lighthouse is defying physics. <laughs> it's a special lighthouse. It is. Oh, more rabbits. This is it! A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came up here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these, though? Yeah, you are. Yep. What the? Someone's calling me. Heck, I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's head back. As for this, let's take it. I feel like I'm, I'm, I've been looting his house. I don't know. It's on his face. <laughs> what the cactus are you doing? Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight? Okay, I was taking a nap. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. You're pretty good at being half of it. Guess what, chat? I'm smart. Your helmet's on the couch. Get it on. We're going in. Do I need to wear protective clothing or something? A helmet. Ready or not, here it goes. A special orange helmet. Here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. On Johnny's face.
So if the game wasn't clear... Go ahead. This should be the last accessible memory. Sable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the house toward the top of the screen. Alright, so just in case the game wasn't terribly clear, and I guess it wasn't. We, um, we kind of log into Johnny's memories. And we implant alternative memories or new memories. Um, so that way he can die without regrets. Or he can die, I don't want to say happy, without regret would probably be a better way to put it. So that's what we are here to do. And if you hover your mouse at the top here, it tells you where in his life we are. And we are currently old goatee wearing Johnny. Look, there's bunk beds. Where? In the left corner. Oh, there is. So that's where the kids sleep, but does the poor woman not get a bed? Oh, that's... Well, we're back in time. I don't remember if the woman's sleeping in here or not. Can we go down here? Nothing. Nothing. For River by Johnny H. Wiles. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Only one way to go. Let's go to the lighthouse, I guess. All right, so this is back in in time a little bit when um, Johnny's wife was alive. River. Johnny. Oh, that's not River. That's, um... That's Lily. That's Lily still. Sorry. Well, what a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline. And this is... Is it... It's Ava. Isn't it Ava? what I say? Eva. Okay. For Eva and Eva. <laughs> Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been th thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be backing up, too. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload the memory. Why did Neil show him some respect? Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need its cooperation. Worst comes the worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Well, not good enough, it seems. Oh, Jesus, Neil. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? Well, I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. Do you want the fame, the money? You gotta have a motive. I'm sorry, but I, I really don't know. I just do. I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the ass. 
Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. What you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you will need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap into a memory, we need an item that is import of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. It's the bunny. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Received note. Moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. <laughs> I don't like these. Complete the memento, click the orbs to flip pieces. So there's this mini game thing between. I don't, they're not acts, are they? Is it between the acts? I think it might be between the acts. It's not between acts, it's whenever you're unlocking like a memento. Right, I think. But don't you unlock a memo, memento every time you change acts? Anyways, I don't know. But there's this mini game, and, and they're not especially difficult or satisfying, really. It just seems like it's more of a break in the game, and you have to get all the squares the same color. Like that. Um, except for, like, it has to match the picture. You're making oh! a puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I screwed up already, didn't I? Like that! It's blank. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Um, what do I gotta do? I forgot already. Um... I did it right. I just hit it the wrong way. Mm, no, you hit the wrong one. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Did she say that or did I? Wait, I think that was just a general note. I think so. Activate! Is that what you gotta say when you go? Yes. Alright. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. Like when he's pooping and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what he's talking about. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Just make sure to wipe. Because Spixer likes to barge into the bathrooms. There's Johnny and the platypus. And all the wabbits. Little wabbits. So we're a little further back in time. Turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah, happy. Yeah, thanks. Jeez, I forgot to ask him about all these. This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psych psychopathy first. Psychopathy. Psychopathy. Psychopathy? What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. Probably just a part of his memory. Oh. Then I stand by my points. Anyway, quit babbling and find a memento here to hop from. Multicolored paper rabbit. I like it when you click it away before I finish reading it. Well, aren't you special? Having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach. What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. 
All right, so we have to fill up this bar with mementos. So we got to find four other mementos. Oh, and that's the memento. We have to go there when the memento's done. The clock is moving, but soundless. Oh, that's... says the same thing. Johnny's up here, too. Just touched his butt. He doesn't mind. A glass bottle of pickled olives. Pff, I hate this stuff. Olives are good. What's to hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly. An old patched up backpack. What is this, a million years old? I guess we'll find out. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Selection of readings from medieval medical <laughs> journals, not medieval. <laughs> Johnny was a huge medieval fan. Did you know that? Uh oh. Fresh wild flowers. You did it. Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him every memory, I'd go crazy. Well, don't tempt me. All right, so we got all five, and now we have to go down to the umbrella. And we can travel. We throw things at it. I thought the it science went down. is solid. But before we do that, we're going to call it an episode. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.